Hey, Alex. Oh, Jake. What's up, dude? I'm fine. How's it at your grandma's? It's pretty boring, but it's alright. Do you just want to talk or what? No, but honestly? Go ahead, I'm all ears. Check this out. Recently they found a dude in a coma in an abandoned building. He was in a coma? How'd that happen? I wouldn't even say coma, I'd say frozen in fear. Hold up, I don't understand. So was the guy in a coma or not? And you think he was like that because he got so scared? I don't see any other explanation. <laughs> what exactly do you mean by frozen in fear? Like, when they found him, he was at the bottom of the basement, eyes wide open with the veins all popped. Dude, gross. His face just froze in a screaming expression. Like, he saw something terrifying? Or what? Yeah, exactly. What else? Also, half of his hair turned gray. What? Wasn't he a young guy? That's the thing, dude. I saw him a couple of days before and his hair was fine. You expect me to believe that he got so scared that half of his hair turned gray? Yeah, dude. His face was pale as a ghost. Hmm. That's very weird. That's not all. When they found him, he was lying on his back and his hands on his face. Like, he was hiding from something? <laughs> yeah, dude, exactly. One thing though, is he dead or alive? Well, he's breathing and has a pulse, so yeah, he's alive. Where do you get all these details from, man? My granny's neighbor is a nurse in the hospital. Every night she tells us all about this guy. What in the hell did he see? I don't know. I know you're gonna get mad at me, but I kinda wanna go and check out what he saw. Are you crazy, dude? You wanna end up like that guy? All the locals are scared. Some say he saw a ghost, others say it was an aliens. Well, that's predictable. People love to gossip about stuff like this, even if it's not true. Yeah, but you know what's interesting? What? His friend said that that night they were passing by this abandoned building and they heard a cry of a kitten. A crying kitty? What does that sound like? I don't know, like miserable meowing. Okay, I think I got it. What else? So like this guy was trying to help this kitten and called the others for help too, but no one went with him. So did he go by himself? No, he didn't go, but then he went back for the kitten. H how do you know that, dude? His mom said so. He came back home and said that he wanted to save that kid and then take it home. But he never came back home that night, huh? Yeah, apparently he didn't make it back that night. The whole day they were looking for him and only found him yesterday. Oh my god, what did he see? I couldn't resist the temptation and went there during the day. Did you find anything? Nope. Here, look. This is the place they found him at. Creepy, right? Nothing suspicious at first glance. Yeah, I didn't find anything either. But I asked the locals today. What did you find out? 
people actually have heard the cries of a kitten and also purring, but of like an adult cat. What the heck, man? One old lady was claiming that she saw big glowing eyes in that basement. Ooh, so spooky. Yeah, interesting. I think so too. I decided to get to the bottom of this story. Are you going into that abandoned building? Yeah. Did you lose your mind? I'm already here. Here's the house from the outside. Gloomy house, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. Do you hear any suspicious sounds? Don't hear anything except the tree branches scraping the roof. Can you send me an audio? Sure. Jake, are you sure that those are tree branches? <laughs> what else could it be? Doesn't it sound kind of like a cat's claw scratching something? Hmm, well it sounds similar. Maybe we're dealing with something we've never seen before. Or it's just a cat. You have a point. Dude, I hear something! What? What is it? Take a video? Send me an audio or something? Give me a minute. Sounds like a cat purring, doesn't it? Jake, get out of there. Dude, this is nothing. I'll go explore the basement a bit more. Is there something suspicious or out of place? Well, kind of. What is it? Send vids or pics, whatever. I can't. Why not? I can send you a smell. What, what smell? Does, does it stink? Yeah, it smells like cat. What What do you mean, man? Has a cat ever peed in your shoes? Ew, I hate that smell. Yeah, that's how it smells here. Keep investigating, dude. There isn't much left to investigate, really. Where's the smell coming from? That's the interesting part. The smell is gone, dude. No way, dude! The smell is legit gone, but I also have a feeling that somebody's watching me. Who? Do you, do you see anyone? It's like someone or something is standing in the corner. Who? Is it a person? No way, bro. This is something else. Something very freaking tall. Get the hell out of there, dude. Do not put yourself in danger. Alex, it's something with very big eyes. Look. Oh my god, dude. Am I going crazy? Can, can you see this too? Oh my god! That's Cartoon Cat. He's extremely dangerous. Run! Uh, who? C Cartoon Cat? Like an actual cartoon? Exactly. That's actually him. People have been talking about him for some quite some time over here. He doesn't look dangerous. Look at those friendly eyes. Seriously, dude, get out of there. I, I, I can't. Why the hell not? It's like he's hypnotizing me and that sound. Listen. It's a trap! He's luring you in! It's that freaking cat, man! Dude, he's so nice and cute! Jake, wake up! He's brainwashing you and he's going to kill you! No way! He's so sweet! He's reaching with his paws! Are his paws in gloves? Yeah. Cool. 
Look at that smile. Jake, that is a hundred percent cartoon cat. He's worse than Pennywise. And why is that? Because Pennywise uses your fears, but this one uses his cuteness to trap you. He's approaching me, but he doesn't look so friendly anymore. <laughs> I wonder why. I'm sensing a lot of danger, and his smile is turning into an evil glare. Look! Jake, I know exactly what to do. What do I do? I, I can't move at all. Take a picture of him with the flash on. One sec. Alex, I did it! I escaped! How? I, I did what you told me. I took a picture of him with a flash on, and then I guess he lost control over me, and then I could move again. Did you run away? Of course I did. Did he run after you? No, I don't think so, but he screamed like hell. Here! Damn, dude. Right now I'm hiding next to the house. There's an abandoned shed here. And where's Cartoon Cat? He, he's somewhere near. How can you tell? I, I can hear footsteps. He's walking in circles. That's him. I'm sure of it. He's after me. He put his paw through a crack in the wall and he's trying to find me. Okay, hey, do you have a lighter or matchsticks? I do, why? Okay, if you can find a stick lying around, try lighting it up, burn his gloves. It looks like cotton gloves, so they should burn easily. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Alex, I did it! I escaped! Did the fire help? Yeah, while the bastard was trying to put out his burning paw, I ran off. It seems like cats are actually scared of fire as much as of water. Where are you now? I, I made it to a store. Call my grandma. I'm getting picked up soon. What did you see in the end? What does he actually look like? Black fur, giant head, sharp eyes, like they were drawn on or something, and a big mouth. Were there a lot of teeth? Yeah, a whole bunch of them. And all yellow and crooked. That's definitely Cartoon Cat. The creature wasn't seen around these parts. I think I should go to you. We need to take care of this creature while he hasn't hurt anyone else. Peter, you there? <laughs> yeah, I'm already home. What about you? I'm still going. Get this. They closed off the main road and now I can't go through it. How are you going to get home now? I'm going through the other street where the storage units are. No way. That's like a 40 minute walk. Who knew that they would close my shortcut home? Dude, if you want, we can come back and pick you up. Nah, I'll walk. Aren't you just off a training session? Aren't you tired? I'll convince my dad if you want. Nah, dude, it's cool. I'll walk. I'm not that tired anyway. Well, whatever you say, bro. Something text me. Okay? Sure. Wait a second. Did you go through the storage units? The ones where the girl disappeared? Um, yeah? Are you okay in the head? But that was ages ago, right? What difference does it make? 
A girl actually disappeared and you decided to take a walk there? Don't worry, bro. It'll be alright. Did they find her? No. The whole neighborhood was looking for her. Are you there already? At the storage unit? Yeah, I just crossed the train tracks. We should talk the whole time you're there. I'll be calmer like that. Okay, let's do it. How much longer until you get home? About 40 minutes, but the road here is horrible. It looks like since the girl disappeared, no one uses this road anymore. You think it will take you longer then? I don't know, dude. Oh yeah, what was the reason the girl disappeared? No one knows. Some say that she wanted to play with a cat, she went there to play with it and then never came back. Are there any lights there? Nope. Super dark in here. I'm regretting my decision. Hey, don't be like that, it'll be alright. And what do you have to be scared of? You're the neighborhood MMA champion. I mean, yeah, I can stand up for myself if I have to. You see? There you go. Peter! I hear something. What are you talking about? It's like someone's behind the storage unit. Hold up. Someone's here! It could be an owner, maybe someone's picking up something from their unit. I don't think so. What? Why? Someone just jumped on the roof. Who? Some dark big creature. Oh my god. Who could it be? I have no idea but I'm scared. Is there anywhere you can hide? Well there are a lot of storage units here. I'll try to hide in one of them and see who it is. Perfect. Alright, I hid in some old looking storage unit. I'll try to see from here who it is jumping on the roofs. Alright, but be careful and silent. I'll talk to my dad and we'll pick you up at the end of that freaky road. Okay, do it, cause I'm really freaking scared. Can you see anyone? No, but I hear them. What is it? Someone just jumped on the roof of the unit where I'm hiding. No way. Listen to this. Is that a cat? Why do you think that? Well, then what is that purring? Or is there a cat with you in that unit? No, there's no one here but me. Well then, where's that noise coming from? I think it's from the roof. Something is definitely up there. Well, that's it then. It's just a cat. You saw a cat jumping from roof to roof. It was someone two meters tall. A two meter tall cat? It looks like it. Can't you peek out of the unit and see who it is on the roof? I'll try, but I'm very scared. I believe in you, man. Peter, look! What the heck? Oh my god, who's that? So scary. No way! That's Cartoon Cat! Who? Were you born yesterday? That's actually Cartoon Cat. The gigantic cat monster who kidnaps people. That's who the girl was talking about before she disappeared. Yeah, that means she got kidnapped by him. If he kidnapped her, he'll capture me as well. And no MMA will help me out here. You have to run. You can't let him capture you. 
I read somewhere that he can hypnotize you with his smile. That cat just jumped down from the roof and now is coming towards me. Where are you anyway? I hid in the bush. I can see him better from here. Send me a picture. Here. Look at him. He's trying to find me. I don't know what to do. Damn, he's scary as hell. And enormous, too. James? James! Where are you at? Peter! You won't believe what just happened. Thank God you're alive. Where did you go? Basically, this cat got really freaking close to me. Oh my god. At first he looked nice and cute, and at some point I even wanted to come out to him. That's how he lures you in. He looks innocent, but then he gets you. That's exactly how it was. When I came out from the bushes, his smile turned into a creepy grin. Did he come at you? No, but he opened his jaw. He has so many sharp fangs. Look! That's just awful. How did you escape from him? When he was coming closer to me with his jaws open, someone threw a rock at him. A rock? Yeah, someone just started throwing rocks and glass bottles at him. Who was it? I don't know, but whoever that was, they saved me. I ran away. What about the cat? He started growling and screaming. One moment he was chasing me, the other he jumped into the darkness where the rocks were flying from. Who could it be? I have no idea. But I was able to escape. Where are you now? I ran into an auto repair shop. It looks abandoned, so I hid in there. Is it far from your house? I don't know, but I think it's close. Can you reach your home street? I'll, I'll try. Are you going? Yes. Anything suspicious? You know, it could be my heart beating so fast or someone is after me again. Who? Is it Cartoon Cat? I don't know, I'm too scared to look back. Damn it! James! Someone is definitely chasing me! I'm running away! James? James! James, talk to me, buddy! He won't believe it. What is it? I was running through the streets and out of nowhere someone jumped at me. Cartoon Cat? At first I thought so too, but it wasn't him. Who was it then? Out from the darkness someone I couldn't make out who it was grabbed me, closed my mouth and threw me into an old car. Who was it? I almost had a heart attack. Who took you? It's just some homeless guy. What homeless guy? He's a freeloader who lives in the storage unit. Apparently when he was going to his unit, he saw how Cartoon Cat was about to attack me in the bushes. That's who threw the rocks at him. Yeah, that's him. He threw all kinds of stuff to distract that monster. He saved your life. Yeah, twice! How so? When I was running through the streets, I was heading right into Cartoon Cat's paws, but he hid somewhere close just before Cartoon Cat could get me. And that's when he saved you? Yeah, at the last moment he jumped out right when Cartoon Cat was getting ready to attack me again. And wow! Where are you now? We're sneaking through the old street. Dave! That's what his name is, so that we can escape from Cartoon Cat here, we have to go through a tunnel under the railroad. 
Should we head for the tunnel then? Yeah, it's near the train station. You know where it is? Yeah, my dad says he knows where it is. We're coming to get you. Cartoon Cat is somewhere close. Dave says he can smell him one mile away. Maybe because Cartoon Cat stinks? I don't know who stinks, Cartoon Cat or Dave, but it really stinks in here. Well, of course, all homeless people stink. Dave says that his stink is the only thing that is saving him right now from Cartoon Cat. The cat is horrified of that smell. Damn. Yeah, Dave said that Cartoon Cat hates dogs, and that he beat up all the dogs around here, and apparently there were a lot of them here before. Is it not the first time Dave sees him? Yep, he says that for a couple of years he has seen this monster, and this is not the first time he saved somebody from him. How does he save people, exactly? He lives at the entrance of the storage unit from my side of the street. When kids try to get in, he starts screaming and gets in their faces. Wait, I remember that, Dave. He was running after us last summer in that same place. You're right. I forgot about that. We thought he was just some crazy guy, but he was saving our lives back then. Awesome. He's saying that no matter what, we have to get through the tunnel under the road. If we get through it, Cartoon Cat won't follow us. I hope it works. I can see the tunnel! Get in there! We can't! Cartoon Cat is there! Look! What are you gonna do now? Dave told me to hide behind some car wheels, and he went to distract Cartoon Cat by himself. How's he gonna distract him? He's throwing rocks again. What is the cat doing? He's not going away. How will you get rid of him? He started throwing old bricks at him. Now it looks like the cat is getting ready to attack. Is he gonna attack Dave? Yeah, he opened his jaw and he's gonna jump at Dave. Will you be able to make it to the tunnel in the meantime? Yeah, I think I can make it! Well, good luck then! Cartoon Cat attack Dave! I'm going for it! Run! Where are you? Did you make it? Uh, I'm inside the tunnel. Yay! It's so narrow and there's a bunch of stuff lying around. I'm trying to crawl to the other side. What about Dave? I think he's dead. You think so? Well, I saw how our cartoon cat grabbed him. Dave was shouting that I should run to the tunnel. What a hero. Yeah, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be alive right now. Where are you now? I'm crawling through the tunnel and... And what? I think someone is crawling behind me. Maybe it's Dave. No! It's Cartoon Cat! Oh no! Oh my god! Crawl faster! I'm trying, but there's so much stuff around here and I hurt my hand. Is the cat near you? He's crawling too, but because he's bigger than me, it's harder for him to move. Don't stop now! I think I'm gonna die. What? What are you talking about? The tunnel is blocked. I won't be able to clear it in time. He's gonna get me. Cartoon Cat is close. Is it just trash? The tunnel broke down ahead. There's a bunch of rocks and mud. We're so close, man. Throw rocks at him. Kick his face in. I won't make it. I'm scared. James, get it together! James! James! No! Peter! I'm saved! How? Cartoon Cat got close to me. I started kicking his face and I threw rocks at him. 
Oh my god. His jaw is gigantic. He was trying to grab my food this whole time. What happened next? And then out of nowhere, he started screaming in pain. I haven't heard anything like it before. What was it? Apparently Dave started to pull on his tail. Are you sure it was Dave? A hundred percent. He was swearing so much he pulled that bastard and I heard how they were fighting outside. What about you? I snuck through a crack between the rocks. Maybe because of the adrenaline I got stronger. Dave is the man. Did he die? No way. He's alive. I saw him at the other side of the road. How he was throwing rocks at him again. Maybe at least the cat is dead. I don't think so. I heard the crying fading far away. I think Dave somehow hurt him. We're super close. You should see some headlights. I see you! Hi, Dave. <laughs> What's that, Dave? Damn it. Hello, I was trying to type hello. I still can't get used to the typing on this thing. Do you like your phone? Yeah. I never had one before. Now that I think about it, I've never in my life ever had a phone. And now I have this fancy thing. Do you understand it a bit now? Like, how to use it? Yeah. I learned how to take pictures. Here, look. Look at this beautiful sunset. Holy. Eh, it's alright, I guess. Hey, it's a beauty through these eyes, kid. But what? Wh what eyes? Forget about it. I'm just trying to thank you for this gift. I like it a lot. You saved my life. If it wasn't for you, Cartoon Cat would have eaten me alive. A smartphone is a gift that's too small for what you did. Nah, I don't need anything, kid. I don't save for the gift. Why did you decide to stay at the storage unit? I can't leave this place even if I wanted to. But you don't like it there. We have a house in the outskirts. No one lives there. My parents are ready to give it to you. Kid, what are you talking about? I'm telling you, I'm never leaving this place. Because you like being a hobo? No, of course I don't like it. But life had other plans for me. Well, then let us help you. I don't need your help. You're like a superhero in our school. No way, for real? Yeah. I told everyone about how you were coming back home and you saw me being attacked by a cartoon cat and then how you saved me. Everyone says you're a real life superhero. Superhero, huh? That's how they say it? Yeah, we call you Super Hobo Dave. Aw, oh, stop it. I'm no hero. You're a superhero, alright? Everybody wants to meet you. Do you ever come out of from that garage? Nah, rarely. Only to the nearest gas station. There's a restaurant there. That's where I get some thrown out food or some expired food. How do you eat expired food? Isn't it dangerous? My stomach can digest nails if I have to. That's amazing. But still, why don't you want to move to our summer house? Listen, kid, I could have gone anywhere I wanted by this point. So why don't you? Think about it. If I leave, who will be on the lookout? Cartoon Cat will just eat all of you. Damn it. I didn't think about that. That's right. If I would have moved when you were walking that night, you wouldn't have made it home like that girl. You couldn't save her back then? That day I stepped on a rusty nail. My legs swole up. I thought it would fall off, so I walked to the nearest hospital. Did they help you? Yeah, they did. Three days I was getting treated. They wouldn't let me out. That was the time where that girl disappeared. God! If you would be there, would you have saved her? 
Of course! When I found out that she disappeared and ran out of the hospital, but I didn't make it in time and I couldn't fight her! It's not your fault. It's all my fault, kid. I decided to never leave that place for too long. I only went for food two days a week. Huh. Okay. And are you gonna stay there forever? I'm gonna stay here until I either make him go away or kill that bastard. Do you see him often? Yeah, almost every day. You see Cartoon Cat every day? Yeah, I even saw him yesterday. Holy moly! I even took a photo of him. Show me! Oh my god, is that really him? That's Cartoon Cat! Uh. Did you take a picture of Cartoon Cat yesterday? Yeah, doesn't he look scary as hell? Very scary! How does he not attack you? I learned how to fight against him. How? That bastard hates water, especially stinky water. I don't understand. Well, I grab a bottle, make a hole in the cap. When he gets close to me, I start spraying him with it. Where do you even get stinky water? I can't tell you. Tell me. No, I don't want to. Just tell me already. I mix the water with piss. Ew! Where do you get the piss from? Kid, are you a complete dumb dumb? Oh, got it. Ew. That's why you stink so much? Well, that too. I should give you a water gun. That's actually not a bad idea. Does Cartoon Cat still hunt you? Or does he just go away from you? Well, he hates me. I already sobbed him like six times. I haven't heard about the others. That's the thing, some people don't even know that they almost died. How so? This happened recently. A woman was coming from the train station. Cartoon Cat was ready on her. He wanted to jump at her, but I jumped out first and started screaming at her. Did she get really scared? Yeah, her scream could be heard all over town. She then ran away back to the train station. Wait. This happened after New Year's? Yes, it did. I know this story. She lives in our neighborhood. She was telling everyone about how she got attacked by a hobo. Yep, but the hobo was actually saving her life. Do you know everything about Cartoon Cat? Not everything, but a lot of it. Tell me something about him. What do you want to know? Well, how often does he go hunting? Sometimes he goes out every day, then I don't see him for five days straight. I think that in those five days that I don't see him, he hunts somewhere else. Where does he live? I can't find the place where he lives. I checked every unit, but I still couldn't find his hiding place. But he's so big, it can't be that hard to find him. He's actually not that big. Sometimes he can be a half a meter tall. No way! He's gigantic! He becomes big when he sees prey. He can grow in seconds. What the heck? Yeah, so he can be small too. Maybe he gets smaller when he's hiding? I don't know, kid. Do you have a video of him? There is a photo of him where he's small. I took that picture the first day when your dad gave me this phone. Can you show me? Wait a minute. Wow, he's so small, so tiny. Huh, he's kind of cute. Huh, oh, he's so cute. Yeah, but the cutie became two times bigger than the garage in five minutes. Maybe he was hunting someone. Yeah, kid was walking with his dog, but I started throwing rocks at them and they left. Dave, you know that people consider you crazy and are scared of you, but in reality you're just saving people. Yeah, somebody gotta save you, dumb kids. But no one believes in Cartoon Cat, but I'll show everyone these photos. Don't you dare! People will come here in hopes of finding him and they will start searching for him. That's when he will eat them all up. Oh, that's right. 
You better tell everyone that there is a dangerous hobo in the other storage units, and that you shouldn't go there. There's a girl in different class, she's kind of famous in TikTok. I'll ask her to talk about the crazy hobo Dave. What in the who now, TikTok? Yeah, if you would let me see you, I would show you. No, it's too dangerous. Is there anything else? I recorded the sound of how that bastard was eating a pigeon. No way. Here, listen. Oh my god! I would have lost it! I was scared myself. Listen, I gotta go train. I'll be back in a couple of hours. I'll text you then, okay? Okay, kid. Go do what you gotta do. I'll take a nap for now. Gotta be on the lookout at night. Kid! You there? Yeah, Dave, I'm here. I think I finally found where Cartoon Cat lives. How did you find it? I couldn't sleep, so I started to wander around the units. Didn't you look around them already? Yeah, but I've never checked the roofs. Cartoon Cat was hunting me from the roofs. That's what I did too. I started jumping from roof to roof like him. What did you find? In between the units, exactly where I was throwing rocks at you at that time, I found a ladder. What ladder? Yeah, an old rusty ladder that leads through the bushes. He lives in the bushes? Under the bushes, there is a manhole. Here's a photo. How do you know that that's where he lives at? I opened the manhole cover and it smells like cat. Oh my god, that's where he lives! I'm gonna hide on the other roof and wait for him. Dave, keep me posted. Oh my god. It's night now, he's sure to come out. Are you on the other roof already? Yep, I'm almost there. Can you see or hear anything? Yeah, I think I do. <gasps> what is it? I recorded an audio for you here. Is that Cartoon Cat? Looks like it. It's dark in here. I can't see clearly. Dave, maybe me and the guys can come over to help you out. It won't take long if we take the bikes. Kid, calm down. I can do this on my own. Is your special weapon with you? Are you talking about the water bottle? Yep. Of course, I don't go anywhere without it. Do you see Cartoon Cat? Yeah, look. <gasps> no way. It's really him. Cartoon Cat. Whoa. The video will resume in a couple of seconds. But for now, if you're liking this texting story and you want us to release its next part, hit the like button. The more likes this video gets, the faster we will release the next part. And now... Back to the story. That's definitely him. He jumped somewhere. I'll go after him. Be careful. I know where that bastard is headed. Where? The place where they're going to fix the train tracks tonight. Near the storage units. Is he going to hunt the construction people? He already is. What is he doing? I see only a single construction worker. Why is he fixing the train tracks at night? Because the trains go around the day. Understood. Look at how he's hiding in the bushes waiting for his prey. Whoa. He's almost camouflaged. Are you gonna save him? Yeah. How? I'll throw a couple rocks, he'll go away by then. Like how you did with me. Exactly. It hurt, by the way. Well, at least you're alive. Oh, I think I hit him too hard. 
You mean the construction worker? Yeah. Is he leaving? I'll throw a couple more. Now he's running. Good job. Uh-oh. What is it? Cartoon Cat is enraged. I ruined another one of his hunts. Run away. I am running. I'll text you if I make it out alive. Dave, be careful. All right, I'm logging out. Hey, kid, you there? Yeah, hi, Dave. Did you hear the news? Of course, everyone's talking about it. What exactly are they saying? Tell me the details. I know as much as you do. I thought you would know all about it. Well, I don't, so tell me the last thing you heard. The latest news are that the twins Tim and Tina were playing in the sandbox at the playground. When their grandma got distracted for like five minutes, they disappeared. Nothing else? Nope, nothing else. Hmm. Oh wait, there's this one thing, but I don't know if I should tell you this. So you do know something? Well, spit it out then. You know how there's this rumor that you're this crazy homeless guy who throws rocks at people that lives in the storage units? Yeah, so what? I want it to be that way. Yeah, well, now everyone thinks that you kidnapped those kids. Me? Yeah. But why me? Well, what do you want me to tell you? They don't know about Cartoon Cat. And you won't let me tell them. The kids disappeared near the storage units, so now they think it's you. Me? Yeah, you crazy hobo Dave. Psh, why would I take the kids? What do I need them for? Think about that, why don't you? They're all panicking, so they aren't thinking straight. Yeah, I guess. So what now? I think you should return the kids. Of course, I know it wasn't you. But we can't tell them who actually kidnapped those kids. You really think Cartoon Cat kidnapped those children? What do you mean, think? Don't you know who it was? Of course it's Cartoon Cat. Because of him, this is not the first time people disappear there. But the thing is, Cartoon Cat disappeared too. Where did he go? I don't know, it feels like I haven't seen him in years. Didn't you say that he can disappear for like a couple of days and then he comes back? Yeah, but this time it's different. Last time I saw him was a month ago. No way! Yeah, I was on patrol every day, but I haven't seen him this whole time. Weird. I know, when did those kids disappear? It was three days ago. Cartoon Cat wasn't here three days ago. Maybe he came back? I would have noticed. Remember you found a manhole? The one where he was hiding in? And it smelled like cat? Yeah. Maybe he's hiding there again with the kids. He hasn't been there in forever. Well, how can you tell? I attached a string to the manhole cover. If the string's broken, then that would mean that Cartoon Cat was there. Is the string still in one piece? Yeah, I check it every day. Still not broken. Dave, I just received a text. You're in danger. What text? There is a whole group gathering. Here's a screenshot of the message. Let's see here. We have to take matters into our own hands. Time to make that hobo pay for what he did. And tell us where he had those children. Everyone gather in here in 10 minutes. We'll go to the storage units and open every single one of them until we find the crazy hobo. It's over him. Separating two groups. One group should go from the home street side and the other from the railroad side. What in the holy heavens? They're hunting me now? Yeah, a bunch of people from the neighborhood are coming, and if they find you, you won't like what they'll do to you. Dang it. What do I do? You gotta run. It's too late now. They'll get me. Then you gotta hide. Where will I hide if they start opening all the units sooner or later they find me? There's only one place where you can hide. Cartoon Cat's lair. Kid, you're a genius. Thank you. All right, I'm off. Is it far away from you? Nope, just three units away and I'm there. Are you sure they won't find you? Only I know about it, so they shouldn't find me there. 
Are you there already? Yeah, I'm opening the manhole cover. Dave, me and my dad will go with the group. We'll try to convince them that, that it wasn't you. Good idea. But will they believe you? Well, even if they don't, we'll go with them anyway. Because if they do find you, we'll stand up for you. I don't like this at all. Just sit tight. I'm gonna go talk to my dad. Okay, keep me posted. Dave, we're already pretty close to the units. We tried to tell them it wasn't you, but no one believed us. Um, kid, I'm getting kind of scared. Where are you now? I'm in his lair here underground. How is it? Creepy, but it doesn't stink as much as it used to. It really hasn't been down here in a long time. Can you send me a photo? I'm kind of curious where Cartoon Cat lives. Dave, is that a box or something in the corner? I don't know. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. Holy moly! There's a tunnel behind this box. What? It leads somewhere. I think the cat buried this tunnel by himself. The edges are all uneven. Send me a pic. So Cartoon Cat had another entrance to his lair this whole time? Or it could be a dead end and leads nowhere. Don't know about that. I gotta see for myself. Are you going to get in there? Will you fit in there? Yeah, I'll get through. Do you think I should go? I think you should. They're already opening all the units, aren't they? Yeah, they already started. The crowd is furious. It's better if they don't find you. Yeah, I got it. I'm going in. Maybe I'll find something interesting. It could be a way out. That way you can leave the storage units area safely. Dave, I just led the people away from where you were. How'd you do it? We were coming close to the place where Cartoon Cat's manhole was. And what did you do? I screamed that I saw you somewhere and pointed to the other direction. All of them started running towards another unit and they're trying to open it. Oh my god, thanks a bunch, kid. Where are you? I'm still crawling through this dang tunnel, it's been like 20 minutes already. Wow, it's that long, huh? Yeah, and I don't see the end of it either. Can you send me a pic? I want to see how it's down there. Wow, that's creepy. I wonder where it leads. I think I know where it leads. Where? I see an exit, it leads somewhere. Awesome! Be careful. Some sort of room. Are you inside a room underground? Not yet. Kinda scared the cartoon cat might be there. I you're right. Is there any way you could take a look or take a photo? Yeah, I'll try. I don't see anything suspicious on this photo. I don't see anything either. On second thought, look! What is it? Look behind those boxes. Who is that? Cartoon cat? Oh yeah. It is. What is he doing here? Whoa! The video will resume in a couple of seconds. But for now, if you're liking this texting story and you want us to release its next part, hit the like button. The more likes this video gets, the faster we will release the next part. And now, back to the story. Well, it looks like him, but why is he so small? Can you get out of the tunnel and come closer to him? What if he gets big and eats me? You think so? If you think about how many times I messed with this Hans, he must hate me by now. For some reason, I think he's harmless right now. He looks so scared. Alright, alright, I'll do it. But if I get eaten, tell my story to my kids. You have kids? Of course I do, and I got a wife too. Why have you never told me about that? I'll tell you later. I got a thing to do now. Going inside the room. What's happening? What is Cartoon Cat doing? You won't believe this. He's crying. Like a dog? Like a kitten. Listen to this. What is happening? 
Maybe he's like that Puss in Boots from Shrek. He just pretends to be cute and then attacks you. I don't know, but he's hiding from me. That is very weird. Is there anything else suspicious around there? Maybe he's scared of something. I look around. Is there a door maybe? Yeah, there is one, but I don't know where it leads to. My intuition says that it's dangerous to open that door. Will you open it? God damn it! What is it? I got shocked so bad right now. No way! Tried opening the door, the handle was metal, and it literally threw me off. Dang, what could it be? I'll try opening that damn door again. How? Won't you get shocked again? I have rubber flip-flops. Rubber doesn't conduct electricity. I'll try opening it with them. Did you do it? Yeah, I did it. Where does it lead to? Looks like some forest. Where's Cartoon Cat? He became even smaller and now he's hugging the wall even tighter since I opened the door. He's definitely scared of someone or something. I think if I go out this door, I'll find out what it is. By the way, our group moved past your unit and is heading towards the railroad. I can see the storage units from over here. Seems like I got out from where the water tank is. There's a quarry and some trees here. So it's a tunnel where you could come in and get out unnoticed? Yeah, it looks like it. Do you think Cartoon Cat dug out that tunnel? I think the underground room was built by people and he just connect his lair with the room. That's why I couldn't find him sometimes. Yep. What's in that forest? Something weird is going on. What exactly? It's like there are power lines. There's this buzzing sound. What power lines? Holy moly! That's why I got electrocuted. There's a long cable attached to the door. Who would do something like that? I have no idea. But if I follow this cable, it might lead me somewhere. Alright, go. Now I'm curious too. Okay, here we go. This cable leads somewhere into the forest. Looks old, there are some parts covered by moss already. How far has it been? Around 50 meters already. And the cable is still going? Yeah, it's on the ground but goes up the trees at some point, but I can still see it and I'll keep following it. I wonder how Cartoon Cat is doing. Maybe he died from fear. But what or who was he so scared of? I think I just found out who it was. Who? What are you talking about? The cable comes down the trees and is connected to some sort of transformer. Cartoon Cat was scared of some transformer? He was scared of who's next to the transformer. Here, look. That siren head. Why is he here? I thought he didn't exist. I don't even know what it is. Dave, you're in danger. Siren Head is really freaking dangerous. And this one is kind of small. They say they can be around 30 meters tall. Why is he so dangerous? Instead of a head, he has two sirens. Both have a giant mouth in them. How do you know so much about him? I saw it on the channel chat. They have a lot of videos about him. Got it. What should I do then? If I was in your place, I would run as fast as I could. Where do I run? Go back to your unit. The angry crowd didn't find anything, so they're heading back. That means I can go home to my sweet garage. So that's why Cartoon Cat was hiding all this time. He was scared of Siren Head. I get it now. I think Siren Head could have captured those kids. I only had to save people from Cartoon Cat before. Now this Siren Head thing too. Yeah, it's not like Cartoon Cat at all. You won't be able to scare him with just some dirty water. Alright, I'm gonna go back. I watched some of the videos from this channel chat about Siren Head. Dave, I talked to my dad we're gonna bring you some food. Do you like chicken? Love it. I haven't had a decent meal in forever. I'll ask my mom to cook it for you and we'll bring it over to you. Thanks, kid. Some food will do me good since I'll need all the strength I can get to find those missing children. I'll be ready to help you in any way I can. Hey, I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like. The more likes we get on this video, the faster we will upload the next part. 
and also subscribe to our YouTube channel chat and don't forget to smash that notification bell so you don't miss any of our next videos. See you later, bye!